Let us go to the Sunday afternoon <laughs> game at Manuka Oval in Canberra, where the GWS Giants are taking on the Melbourne Demons. Boys, boys, I have a question for you. Now, I bought these in America. All right, they're a bit old now, a bit tattered. Uh, they, they're Toms. That's a Tom. What is a Tom, Desmond? A Tom is a shoe. It is a shoe. I'm gonna uh, one day, one one of these days. One of these days. Melbourne are my shoe-in of the week. Last week's was the Suns got up. I'm going to go two from two. Melbourne's getting this done very, very easily, I feel. Yeah. The Giants, they've lost their soul. They've lost their way. They don't know where they're going. They don't know what they're doing. 40 plus? And, mm, I'm really torn. It's going to be like, nah, it's going to be like 37, 38, yeah. slash 42, 43. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. going to be somewhere in there, somewhere gross. There you go. Go the middle. Oh, uh, I think, uh, there yeah. you go. Melbourne, 21 to 40. Mm-hmm. That'll be a band. Perfect. That'll be a yeah. band in there. Uh, and look, Giants, are, they're mentally cooked. I think their season's done. I know it's hella early to make that comment. It's, it's not an unjust call, though. But mm-hmm. I think they're, they're rotting from the head, to be honest with you. I think it starts with the coach. I think it starts with the leadership team. And not to say that there's anything wrong with any of those blokes in the leadership team or Leon Cameron as a coach, but I think just like Brenton Sanderson experienced at the Crows, you can be at a place for too long. And I think that's where it's at with Leon right now. So you agree with what I said last week? In not as, uh, as, as stringent terms, but I gen- I think Cameron's been there too long, and I, I so, think you can tell how it is, mate. Look, Leon Cameron, no good. As I said last week, playing like for example, Stephen Kneelo last week, one of your best midfielders. What did he do? Does anyone know what he did in round one? Yeah, yeah, yeah about twenty five in round one. He played as a tagger. Did he? Why? Why, why on earth are you tagging? With Stephen Canelio. Someone should be tagging him. Mm. Let let him play his game of football. Now, moving on to Stephen Canelio, as I said last week, great mm. footy player, mm. not a leader. Well, so, so, yeah. Someone needs to drag this uh, this footy club up for the bootstraps. That's not a bad thing. Not it's men- not no, a bad call not, to make not, about someone either. I'm not That's saying it is. I'm not, not, I'm it not is. saying it is. Not everyone is cut out to be a leader, but it's just not the right person for this rebuild job. Who do you pick to be captain of that team? Great question. Toby? Well, maybe, but I mean, you know. Tobias? <sighs> He's a better leader than Cornelius. Tobias! Yeah, yeah, but again, like... It's, I agree it, with that. It, it, it is a tough one, because I don't really think there's a lot of people in that team who are like out-and-out out leaders. Maybe Taranto, but it's hard to know without being on the inside of the walls. I'm Correct. just... I'm only saying it's purely timing. That making their mark show, you can see what they're like on, on the interior. Stephen Cornelius is just not inspiring. No chirp. No. Nah. No chirp. Not enough for mine. Um, Demons going to get this done easy. They've looked pretty good in the first two weeks. I still don't believe they're a great footy team, but they, they've looked good. And I expect them to go 3 0, so good on them. You know I, don't, I don't believe the hype, Des. Before you jump in, let me just say when you're Melbourne and you're 2 0, but then you're a Melbourne 2 0 that beat Frio, okay, round one, who were playing away from Perth, and a tired and injured St Kilda who had just come back from a wet slog. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Melbourne to win, and they'll go 3-0, and but they're not as good as 3-0 and suggests. Mm-hmm. Thoughts? My big call, and it's not really a big call, is I may not pick Giants for the rest of the year, even against North Melbourne. Holy dolly. Mammoth call. Far out, mate. I may not pick them against North Melbourne because, you know what, North Melbourne have shown us, at least when they lost to Port, they showed a little bit of... A little bit of cojones. A bit, a bit of chutzpah. A bit of cojones. That's a word. Whereas, uh, you know what? Giants, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen it. Yeah. I just have not seen a thing. And that's just like, do you know what? I'm I'm going to be willing to bet North Melbourne at underdog odds over a Giants team. And obviously, they're not playing North Melbourne, so it's a, a different mm-hmm. different day. But, like, I, as you, as I will not pick said, the Giants for the rest of the year. Yeah, they're just cool. they're mentally, they just look. They look done. From like, the top it's down. exactly what I thought. I don't, I, and I've made some stupid calls this year that you had no, I'm not even that. And I'm no. happy to do that because the Never big wants, calls, mate. the big calls, uh, the big calls do come off some of some of the time. You, you, I can't remember. Sometimes how you they may be good, sometimes they may be shit, as you see in that video. <laughs> <laughs> that big, I've big Gennaro, at. my guy. <laughs> couple no. of couple of quick bets. So I want to wrap this one up. Yeah. Talk to me. Track twenty five plus dollar forty five easy. I had that That's as you day. like. Clayton Oliver, 35 plus, dollar eighty. He's averaging 36 on the season. I expect he's just going to feast. Wow. Here. Who's going to stop him? Wow. Yeah. Not Cornelio. Nah. He's not tagging him. No, nah, no way. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Bobby Hill, anytime goal, dollar sixty two. He's looked good in the first couple of weeks. Probably one of the only ones apart from uh, Matty Flynn, uh, who's also looked pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, Bobby Hill was uh, yeah. chipping up for a goal. I had Bob Hill last week. He's a Perth boy, and I thought he'd get it done at home. He'd let me down. means he's due. Back home means he, he's due. He had opportunities. I don't know if you oh, saw it. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. He just couldn't, yeah. just couldn't take them. He's so, Mountain Dew. It was that kind of day. He's due. Mountain Dew. Yep. yep. Crab juice. Connor um, Minna, Jew. <laughs> Callum Ward, 20 plus touches for mine. Taranto, 25. Petraka, 25. Petraka, a goal. And Pickett, a goal. 
Loving the hype on Pickett this week, but I still think he's a bit of a sideshow at the minute. I mean, he's not your key forward. He's he gets bums he's, on seats. He doesn't, doesn't need to be key forward. Yeah. He just does his bit. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not. He's gets bums on seats. I don't think he's the answer to that forward line. But all of them together, yoink, seven dollars forty. Seven forty. It's not bad. 